everyone, welcome back to Sunday School. My name is Miss Chelsea and we are on session five of our virtual Sunday School experience. This video is for ages nine and up and you will need a few things to participate today. First, you're gonna need to print out two papers. The first one is called Abraham and Sarah Faith. It looks like this. And the second one is called Abraham and Sarah, Abraham and Sarah's Journey. Now you'll also need a blank sheet of paper. Of course, you'll need some things to color with. I have my whole bag of crayons with me today, but you can also use markers or colored pencils and something to write with. Finally, I hope that you all have your Bibles with you so we can read the Bible story together. Pause the video, find those supplies, and we'll get back. All right, so if you have your Bibles, we're opening to Genesis 12 today. So we're looking for Genesis again, the first book in the Bible, and the big 12. Looks like that. And we're reading verses 1 through 9. So starting right at the 12 and going all the way to the little 9. Follow along with me. The Lord said to Abram, leave your country, your relatives, and your father's home, and go to a land that I am going to show you. I will give you many descendants, and they will become a great nation. I will bless you and make your name famous, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, but I will curse those who curse you, and through you I will bless all the nations." When Abram was 75 years old, he started out from Haran, as the Lord had told him to do, and Lot went with him. Abram took his wife Sari, his nephew Lot, and all the wealth and all the slaves they had acquired in Haran, and they started out for the land of Canaan. When they arrived in Canaan, Abram traveled to the land until they came to the sacred tree of Morah, the holy place at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were still living in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, This is the country that I am going to give your descendants. Then Abram built an altar there to the Lord, who had appeared to him. After that, he moved on south to the hill country, east of the city of Bethel, and set up his camp between Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. There also he built an altar and worshipped the Lord. Then he moved on from place to place, going toward the southern part of Canaan. Thanks for reading along. So one thing I do want to point out is in the Bible story, it talks about Abram and Sari. But later on, um, God changes their names to Abraham and Sarah. So when we talk about Abraham and Sarah, that's who we're talking about. They're the same people. Okay. All right. So we have moved on to a new Bible verse. A new section of the Bible. So we have a new Bible verse that we are looking at for these weeks. And it says, the Lord carried out just what he had promised. Genesis 21, 1. So this is one to memorize for the next coming weeks. Awesome. In addition to a new verse, we have a new faith word. We've moved on from creativity and our faith word happens to be faith. And faith means to believe in God's presence and to hope. To believe in God's presence and to hope. So what do you think it means to do something on faith? What does it mean? Abraham and Sarah had to have a lot of faith when they left to go on their long journey in God. How do you think they felt about that? What does hope feel like? Is hope different than faith? We're going to have some time to um, brainstorm these questions together. Um, go ahead and get out your Abraham and Sarah faith worksheet. The instructions say to journal about the question in the space provided, then make a list of the ways you show faith. So our first question is, what do you think it means to have faith? And then the second question is, I show faith in God by. All right. 
Take a few minutes to answer these questions. All right, we're back. So what does it mean to have faith? I think faith has to involve not being entirely sure that something's going to work out. You have to believe in something that maybe you can't see. That's how I see faith. And I show faith in God. Well, how do you show faith in God? I show faith in God by trusting that he is going to provide for me and my family and that he's going to keep me safe. What about you? This is maybe a question that you're going to want to discuss with someone in your family because I think there are so many interesting answers you could have. I wish I could hear all of your answers through this recording. <laughs> but find someone in your family and share your responses and ask them what they think faith is all about and how they show faith in God. All right. So we talked about how Abraham and Sarah went on a long journey together. And on our next worksheet, we have this lovely little like labyrinth maze thing. And this represents a spiritual journey. We learned about the journey Abraham and Sarah took because God asked them to. So let's imagine that their journey and think about our own journeys in faith as we trace through this maze. We are trying to get from the start to the finish. And it might not be as straightforward as it looks. So take a few minutes to get through this maze. All right, now I did the maze earlier, and let me tell you, I had some issues with it. <laughs> you can see with my purple crayon, I started going this way, and then I realized that that was not going to work. So I had to kind of retrace my steps, and I found that the best way was to actually go all the way up here and then to the finish. And sometimes our journeys take us in places that we don't expect. Sometimes we go the wrong way first, and we to backtrack a little but it's okay because it's all part of our journey and we can still have faith um, in the process. Great. We learned about Abraham and Sarah's faith in God's promises as they moved through their life. You're going to get a chance to draw a map that shows some important parts of your faith journey. So our faith journey is anything that's happened in our life that has greatly affected our faith or been really important to our faith. So before I let you do this, I'm actually going to show you mine to give you an example. So my faith journey, I included some important key elements that remind me of my faith, like my baptism. Now that happened when I was a baby, so I don't really remember it, but it was still an important part of my faith. My confirmation, which I went through when I was... Um, I guess it was in seventh grade, sixth or seventh grade. Um, and uh, another really important part of my faith was when I joined the youth group at my church because that really helped to build my faith. And then at the bottom here, I put um, becoming a church member because I became a church member at our Methodist church in Ohio. And that was a, that was a great decision that I made and it was really important um, in my faith journey. So you don't have to have a ton of things, but maybe pick a few key parts in your life that had to do with faith. Um, and you can draw pictures, you can write words, and just connect them so that they look like a little journey. Have fun. All right. So again, your faith journey is not going to look like mine. It's not going to look like anybody's because everyone has their own journey. But I encourage you to show your faith journey picture to someone in your household um, and talk about it. Talk about why those were the important parts of your faith journey. We learned about God's promises to Abraham and his family. God blessed Abraham and his family in many ways. So let's take some time to think about and write the ways we hope God blesses us through God's promises. Now, I would suggest you just write these on the back of your faith map. So now we're not thinking about the past, we're thinking about the future. We're thinking about ways that we hope that God will bless us. Maybe you hope God blesses you with good health or a family to always be there for you and love you. 
um, or maybe even a good job way, way in your future sometime. Um, so go ahead and take some time to write a list on the back of your map of ways that you hope that God will bless us into our futures. All right, so today was a lot of reflecting, a lot of reflecting and writing on the way um, God is faithful to us, how he has been faithful to us, and how he will continue to be faithful to us. So let's go ahead and pray together. God, thank you for being with us on our faith journeys as you were with Abraham and Sarah. Amen. Thank you so much for coming to Sunday School, and we'll see you next time.